everybody welcome back here to the office oh no i am flying solo tonight i hope you guys are all having a good start to your weekend the best is probably yet to come everybody so please just you know crowd on in here and uh you know make make room but remember social distance social distance <laughs> so listen before I get started here, I just want to apologize to anybody who stream I'm stepping on. I do not plan to be here long, but I wanted to try something new, something new. You guys saw the card. Yeah, we got some new tools dropped at Harbor Freight. And so, uh, you know, if you're in a rush, go ahead and drop them in the, <laughs> in the comments here. There's nobody watching yet, but this is mostly meant for people to come in and watch after uh, other streams have quit or with their morning coffee or whatever. So if you're joining us in the morning Welcome. I appreciate you very much coming. Oh, who, who dropped in here? Well, Brian, how are you doing? And Graham, thank you. something to watch. Well, I thought you would have been over at JD's channel, Graham. I saw that he was up. Brian, my good friend, I'm glad to see you stopped in. Uh, it was great seeing you at the birthday party last week. And, you know, chest bump, fist bump, whatever the elbow. Isn't it the elbow now? Elbow bump. It turned so stupid. Anyway, <laughs> let's get to our fantastic and fun Harbor Freight tools. Hold on a second. I've got to uh, I've got to stop sharing and I've got to share a different screen. Let's see. Excuse my uh, blindness here. There we go. All right, we're sharing it. Here it comes. Actually, we want to put it up here so you guys don't have to look at my mug. Now, check this out. New Harbor Freight stuff. New Harbor Freight stuff. It just dropped tonight, guys. So very exciting to see this because there's something. Now, Power, jo Power Stroke Jude is up on uh, JD's uh, live stream over there. So we're probably not going to see him, but I've got a big surprise that he'll probably love. I don't you probably like this too, Grim. Uh, anyway, a couple of new Bauer items here and, and Hercules. And you guys know I'm not real fond of Hercules, but you go ahead and chat amongst yourselves about what a jerk I am. But I wanted to show you this for $199.99. And I'm hoping they are going to come up with a better price on this. Um, it, Just making sure I'm still still live there. <laughs> anyway, they've got this new single bevel 12 inch compound miter saw. Now, single bevel, you know, I, I know you guys already know this, but for people that are going to be watching this uh, in the morning with coffee or whatever, quickest way to tell a single bevel and dual bevel, well, what's the difference? Look at the fence here. You see, you got a 90 degree cut ability on one side and it looks like you could probably go to you know probably somewhere around a 45 degree cut on the other side so it the saw will lean in one direction but not the other one a dual bevel you can lean it either way depending on how you want to make your cut so if you're a superman at cutting those uh crown moldings then you're probably going to want a dual bevel but you know I don't know guys you know for a 199.99 now i can't remember what the um what what is the new one um you know they had the chicago electric which is what i've got right now and oh i can't remember but it's it's probably going to go away because you know good better best they, they they have chicago electric then uh uh we've got the bauer and we've got the hercules so something's got to go we've got four of them now so that doesn't hardly fit their good better best model but we're going to see what's going to happen anyway but i'm liking this because i don't need a dual bevel but i sure need better than chicago electric and i'm kind of not interested in hercules so no let, let me go over here and see if if grimmy's going to pop up the name for me here oh we got a lot of people Troy, here we go. Let me pop up some of these uh, things so we can discuss it. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining. You saw Grim say that. Uh, um, 
appreciate that very much for the subscription, Troy. Thank you very much. I'm also over on TikTok. <laughs> Crim's, Crim's saying Hercules, Hercules. Admiral, thank you. Thank you, Backwoods Man Paul. This is the first time I've seen you in one of our chats here, Backwoods Man Paul. So uh, welcome very much. And everybody, please welcome my good friend, Brian. It's, it's just awesome to see him out here. Um, the um he, he's saying the admiral uh he has it um yeah yeah he got it so uh, you know i can't remember uh backwards man paw is that is i i thought the admiral is a dual bevel sliding compound miter saw and i think it's about the same price and the admiral blade it comes with a blade unlike the other saws this one may not come with a blade we're going to see here in a minute when we look at the uh information on it but the um uh, the other saws do not come with a blade, and I don't think uh, this one does. They're saying it's new. I, I thought Bauer already had that. Anyway, we're going we're gonna to look at it anyway. <laughs> he, he's talking about stuff, and he doesn't know anything about it. He doesn't know anything about it. Get a job. Oh, let's go through the pictures. Let's go through the pictures, you guys. Okay, so we got single bevel and uh, blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. Most of this stuff we're going to already know if you've ever bought anything from Harbor Freight, but uh, a lot of this information is going to be down below, so we're not going to, you know, stick on that. And you can see it's a single bevel. It, it goes to one side. I got a question. Does anybody use that dust bag? I had my dust bag on my DeWalt for about a year, and I took it off, and there was nothing in there. So I don't think that really works that good. <laughs> Looks like it's going to come with a hold down clamp. And, you know, they're kind of going out of their way here to picture it with the blade. So I'm thinking maybe it's going to come with a blade. Wouldn't that be great? Because this uh, power, this power blade is really super, super good. And I didn't want to get anything less than a uh, 12 inch. So I, I just, you know, 10 inches is is not going to cut it for me and by not cutting it for me i mean it's not going to cut something that's say five inches <laughs> so yeah you know and i'm i'm not sure but a 10 inch may not even go through a four by four unless it is straight up and down so they're showing it here so that just reminded me of that you you guys fill each other in in the background there because you probably use a miter saw more than i do so there we go there there are the promo pictures of the new bauer single bevel 12 inch compound miter saw very very nice oh here's all the here's all the saws so see we got the chicago electric that's the chicago electric twice here uh single bevel uh the sliding compound okay so their single bevel is not a sliding compound miter saw on the Chicago Electric. And what do we got here? 219 on the on the Bauer. The other Bauer is a dual bevel. So, you know, 20 bucks more for a dual bevel sliding compound miter saw in the Bauer brand. Oh, wait, no, never mind. It's 10 inch. I'd, I'd rather have the 12 inch single bevel than the the uh, 10 inch single bevel so I'll, I'll take that but are we going to get I, i'm hoping we're going to get the um uh, see we get the 15 amp motor that's that's decent what i was looking for is it does not have a laser cut guide do you are you guys seeing that here talk amongst yourselves i'm not seeing it i thought the admiral did do you do you, uh, backwards man, Paul, once again, the Admiral doesn't have the, uh, you know what, let's, let's just uh, go look, but I believe, oh, they, they don't have it up here. So we're not going to go, if, if you guys want to go look and throw it in the comments, please go ahead so that we can, uh, we can continue to go. But uh, I believe the Admiral does have a, does have a uh, cut laser on it let's let's go back and see what everybody's doing i can't see you when i'm off the page by the way guys 
Grim, the Her Grim just got to Hercules at Christmas time, and he did a video on it. Grim, go ahead and put your, um, you know what, if you could put a link directly to your Hercules review uh, video so that everybody could go and look at that, that would be perfect. Um, let's see, you're, you guys are about 10 seconds delayed, so I don't, I'm not sure what your, uh, your nope, they don't is to. Um, bet it might come with a blade. Uh, Grim is a slow typer. Yeah, you're right. Backwards manpa, I did catch that, that it's a 10 inch, not the 12. I'd rather have the 12 uh, single. <laughs> they weren't invited. <laughs> Okay, so backwards manpa is saying that the Admiral does have, it has a light and a laser, a cut laser, but the uh, cut laser lead, needs a lot of messing with. Now, mine went out on the Chicago Electric. I had a laser on it, uh, cut guide, and it didn't work worth a crap. It was really kind of a piece of junk. So what I did was I just went out and got one of those uh, Arbor Mount that, acts as the um, washer for your blade arbor mount and that thing worked perfect it worked perfect so i don't care if that if that um that new bower isn't going to have one because i can go ahead and use the uh the one that i've got on my chicago electric there you go grimmy i'm gonna put this up there so uh grim put out his uh he did a really good review on the Hercules and you guys don't want to come over here and, and ask me about Hercules because I'm too confused. I don't know what in the heck Harbor Freight is trying to do. And, uh, you know what? I don't know. Okay. And this would be, this is going to be the stand. So you guys that are catching this in the morning, please, uh, check out, uh, Grimm's, you know, I've got the, you probably will not see it in the comments tomorrow morning, but if I get a chance to put them in in the morning, I will put those in there since we, we talked about those. Now, let's get back to the new stuff at Harbor Freight because you haven't even seen the best of it yet. Now, 8 amp, eight amp motor on this, this three inch uh, belt sander from Bauer. I... Gosh, guys, I, I do not know. Not, not a fan of that. Not a fan. I, 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 I would think it would, you know, <laughs> I don't know. It, it just, you know, with all the cordless stuff. Let's look at a couple of pictures of it here in action. Ooh, uh oh. Sorry, Bauer. I just. I'm a, I'm a feared. I'm a feared, guys. Okay. <laughs> That's enough of that. Let's go look at some of the, uh, uh, it's got the 8 amp motor, uh, rem stock removal and finishing work. Uh, it's got a large front handle cushion. Well, don't all belt sanders. Has anybody used a belt sander that doesn't have a front handle? <laughs> and non grip. Okay. Uh, quick release level for lever for fast tool free belt changes because Lord knows none of them have a way to change the belt. So let's pat ourselves on the back and make it a bullet point that you can change the belt on our Bauer. Uh, tracking knob to keep belt in perfect alignment. Okay, there you go. That's better. Rubberized ergonomic grip for maximum use comfort. You know, well, we're still talking about the grips on it. If the best thing on your saw is going to be the grip, you might want to get a different saw. Okay, uh, durable impact resistant plastic. All of them are plastic, so don't brag about that either. Onboard dust collection. You guys already know what I said about that dust bag, right? So we know that. Let's let's go back. That's not one of the funnest ones. Now this has some promise. This absolutely has some promise here. It's the uh, so this could be hybrid. We can use the 20 volt battery or 120 volt, just plug the sucker in. Um, and of course they have the lithium 
ion batteries. It's two gallon wet dry portable. And look at the price compared to some of the other guys out there, especially, you know, uh, if you're talking like Milwaukee's version of it, fantastic price. And a, looks like, you know, they're going to have this in on their save when you buy, you know, $25, which is about the price of, of the battery or the chart. I think it's about the price of the charger. Sorry about that. So you're going to save it's like buy this. And if you get a battery for it, because it doesn't come with one, then we'll give you a free charger for that battery. So there you go. And it's in stock at the store that's near me. So ooh, ah, oh, might have to go look at this. Let's go through the pictures on this one because this is kind of exciting. I really like the hybrid tools. You know, you see them on, on a lot of the lights, the uh, uh, you see them on these vacuums, the fans, that kind of stuff. So, you know, it's really nice to see it on stuff that's really going to suck out a battery. Here's the... Uh, the deal we have where you can, you know, you buy this tool and one of these batteries and, you know, a uh, charger, you get $25 off. So the little charger here is going to be the, <laughs> is it going to be about 25 bucks, guys, not the big one. So on board uh, tool storage, that's going to be really nice. It's like we got a control panel over here on the side. It's got the, it, it, I, I almost hate myself for not being a huge fan of Hercules because I just love the color, you know. Now, uh, Dewey, don't get too excited. This this Hercules color is a little bit different than Cobalt, so in case Dewey did it, it's out there. Now, here's interesting something interesting. Um, the uh, the battery pack does not cover the cord plug-in like most of them, so that you can't do both. So I wonder if it doesn't. It isn't a big deal if you don't, you know, if you have a battery in there when you plug it in. Kind of interesting. Got the port for it. What else we got? Ooh, a power switch. You know what, guys? Look at, you saw it here on the Dale Lucid channel first. The power switch. You can turn this off and on. That's a bullet point right there. Man, they're on the ball. It's going to come with the filter. I think most of them do. Uh, I wonder if it's got a foam filter that goes over the top of that, though. Look at it. A wet dry vac that sucks up stuff that's wet. Okay, there we go. You know why this work site looks so good, guys? Wet dry vac. Yeah, if you guys said wet dry vac, you win. <laughs> okay, let's go down and look at the bullet points. Uh, it, the dual power hybrid, we already said that. 99.97 uh, dust in that uh, uh, HEPA filter at one micron. That's that's pretty decent. That's commendable. Uh, 30 mounted handle for easy portability. I would hope that if it's portable, it would have a handle. Um, the washable filter. For instance, clean with water. Now, you know, the guys that are, it's competing with are going to have that as well. So, uh, flexible crush resistant hose, a convenient onboard storage, it's accessories organizing. Yeah, so it's got the onboard tool storage, uh, powerful built in motor part. Correctly back in the I wonder if it says what the motor is in the specs down here. Let's see certification horsepower. It's a two horsepower motor. So, do we got any amperage? And then I guess we don't because it's going to be variable, isn't it, since it uses a, uh, a battery or plug-in. You guys didn't know that. This is interesting, the uh, HC023B. It's, it's, got a, it's got a model number as well as their, uh, their SKU. SKU on that is 56789. <laughs> Do you think that was just luck of the draw or what? And look, they even tell you what you can use it for. Now, just real quick. Oh, no. They usually with the warranty and other information, they have a PDF. So we don't have a PDF yet on this one, guys. Let's see. Important information. Dot, 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 tool. Well, we know it's tool only. So, yeah, maybe we'll go look at that one and uh, see if we can get a video up on that guys let's uh, move on to the next thing i'm not going to stop on these but look at this 
we already know they came out with the uh, black masks, the black face masks that are disposable. And sometimes you can pick those up for about $1.99, right? So that's a great price, right? That's a great price. And now they've got these cloth five pack. So a dollar a mask and they're going to be washable and reusable. So here's what we've been waiting for. Ba, 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 ba. And, you know, their $10 price. Uh, there we go, you know. Uh, are, is somebody hearing eligible for the 30% on $10 items, up to five of them? So look at these. We have the, the black five-piece snap-on uh, drawer edgy. And look how great Power Stroke Jude is just going to love this. He's got the green cart, and I really like the green cart. And it was my second choice because they just didn't have all the accessories. But here we go here, the five piece snap on uh, trim piece for those. $9.99, that is a heck of a deal. Can you imagine how much uh, snap on boxes are charging for these drawer trim pieces? A fortune, I bet. Now, um, th these are probably gonna be plastic but they're going to be a good molded plastic and they appear to be um they appear to be gloss not flat boy it's like sharp doesn't it guys fantastic these come off pretty easy but if they don't you can get in along this edge right here with a pick the little orange handle picks that you get from harbor freight and you can get right into that thing so no worries. Let's look down at the information about it. Uh, press on fit for easy installation. Now that's right. Prevents smudging. Secure grip to drawers. Uh, includes trim for three short drawers and two long drawers. So your U.S. General five drawer tool cart. Now you can use a. You can get a kit of snap on edging. Boy, nobody seen that coming. There was no kind of warning or anything else. The uh, part number is going to be 57233. Now, you don't have to just use these on the green. This would look great on the yellow, orange. Uh, what about blacking out a black one? You know, so any of the cards you could use these on. Now, I made a video of plasti dipping. And I like the plastic dip. I tell everybody this, oh, well, it will come off. Well, yeah, it probably will come off. But, and, and I did have to redo one. But guess what, guys? I've only had to redo one of them for the plastic dip kind of breaking off a little bit. So what I love about the plastic dip is that I can go back to the chrome if I want to. I can just peel it off the plastic dip and have the chrome one back. So now I can go out and buy a set of these, right? And then I'll, I'll peel the plastic dip off my other ones and I'll have a black set and a chrome set to go along with that. So don't look at this, Joe Burgess. Ooh, Joe's going to hate this. It's not chrome and he's just going to hate it. So let me, uh, let me go back over here and see what you guys are talking about here. Grim says the sun buys the crap out of masks. Uh, what do you say about the vac? I bet they do, you know, anything with a motor or that gets hot. But here's what's interesting is I've got the Ryobi glue gun that also uses a battery and it does not eat it up. I was sure that thing would run through batteries like crazy. And it, it will, you know, I always throw the three amp hour one that I have on there and it lasts for quite a while. So Jay, who's gonna Jay, who's gonna like you uh, talking about that Dewalt stuff on here? Oh, the bag. They don't. No, they don't work good. Yeah, I cannot see. <laughs> I cannot see. You know, when you've got the orbital sander or the. Uh, vibrating sanders those are going to do fine but yeah, i can't imagine a a um uh, a regular um uh, belt sander is going to like it very much all right let's see we got we we got caught up with that i think 
Backwards Manpa, I'm not sure what you're saying. Yes, too. Hey, look, Jay Who is out there, everybody. Say hello to Jay Who. Be nice and uh, spread the word. See, what did I tell you, Grim? What did I tell you? <laughs> okay, well, welcome, Moose92. Yeah, you know, um, I mean, you know, maybe maybe there's a little bit of disputing that, you know, room to dispute that. But I got to tell you, I got I got a Milwaukee uh, M12 fuel impact and I just knew that thing was going to be the best tool I've ever had. And boy, it sure is. It just, you know, you put that thing in your hand and it and it, you just feel like it'll do anything that you set it to do. So I, I, I can't really uh, dispute you on that, although Jay, Jay Hu here is a big DeWalt fan and, you know, he might he might argue that point. But I got to tell you, you know, uh, it may take me, uh, you know, I'll, pro I'll probably be on my deathbed before I ever get close to having a good collection of Milwaukee tools because, you know, they're just so expensive to get them. But at least I'll have a good collection of Milwaukee tools and the last one I get will still look brand new. So <laughs> there's, there's always that. Yes, the trim kit. That thing is very, very cool. Oh, look. Here we go. So uh, JD Large out here says that you know, I think I heard that somewhere, but I wonder where did you get that information from? Have you been talking to Operation Cloak and Dagger or we went over at the Den of Tools and, and Deep Bear or whatever he is, let that out? I, I was curious about that, but I thought I heard that somewhere. But yeah, it surprised me that not very many people have that because that thing works great. And man, I'll tell you, when you start talking about having to go and and have if you have a task where you have to take that thing somewhere you know forget unplugging a glue gun and running out to your work no you don't have to do that anymore because you have this even if it's heavy with a heavy three amp hour battery on it i can put the one amp hour battery on it once it's heated up long enough to go do my job and get back to it you know what i mean so yeah i absolutely love a cordless glue glue gun great idea one of the uh best Best tools Ryo be made. It was a good idea. They're not here supporting Dion. I know. Oh, okay. Look at this. Trader. Hank Rib's going to give him a pass. Oh, Jay, who? Geez, that's that's no good. I'm not going to put that up here. Um, you guys can talk about that in the comments. Okay, here's another one. You know, this is this is interesting. Um, I have not heard them coming out with anything else, but here's what's really funny. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but they have switched to making these cart a in-store special order, all of them. Now they do have some in stock and, and I guess they might try to keep them in stock where they have bigger stores. Now remember, they don't build their own stores and so they can't plan for the futures. The, the real estate that they buy is like old Kmart that have closed and stuff like that that has good uh, locations. So not every store is big enough to keep a large amount of stock on hand. But, you know, that kind of led me to believe the idea that they switched all the U.S. general uh, uh, rolling carts and chests and stuff to special order in store leads me to believe that possibly they are going to consider coming out with other ones at the very least. I'm betting that, and and if you're a betting person too, 
you would bet that they're going to come out with the white in the other U.S. general rollers and, you know, for everybody that wants to stay in the U.S. general arena. So I'm thinking that that is probably going to happen. I was surprised when they just dropped the 72 inch upper box that they didn't go ahead and slip in there a white version of that box to kind of that's how they give us clues is they they just kind of drop it out there and then you get to speculate and and it generates talk about it let's let's face it they talk about it i'm not going to put your stupid puppet thing up there it was lame jehu that guy was lame And Grim is right. Everyone already has access to our social security numbers. Yeah, that's right. Um, that, that's right, JD. Um, in the in, in the poster on the Bauer expansion, you can see quite a few tools on there that have not come out yet. So like I said, that's kind of how they do drop their hands is, is by doing stuff like that. Thank you, Jay, who I appreciate that. I almost kicked you. Sorry, man. I don't want to do that. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Ed the Old Tech Guy. Ed the Old Tech Guy. Thanks for stopping by. We're just doing this. It was what was supposed to be a quick video on new tools that were dropped by Harbor Freight, especially the super cool uh new black trim strips for the drawers oh man i i didn't even hear anybody asking for this it's like oh no they won't do that you know but uh if, if they would have come out with it for anything i would have guessed icon that would have been my bet but no <laughs> not at all look at this guy over here thank you thank you mr ed the old tech guy you know i always appreciate you uh He, he, he texted you the link. Yeah, don't post that link here, Jehu. I'll kick you, buddy. <laughs> now nah, keep it going, bro. Thank you. How many how many are out there, Ed? Can, can you put it in the comments how many are watching? Hey, everybody, please, like Jehu said, it does make a difference on the metrics if you drop that thumbs up. So thanks for that. And yeah, I know, Jehu, you're going to be the only guy out there with the thumbs down. I I could have already guessed that, so don't worry. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I'm on TikTok, so I got thick skin. <laughs> when did I say I hate the wall? Look at look at this guy trying to start something up. Trying to, I'll tell you what, man. If I'm if I'm the Ryobi fan, I am not going to be hating on DeWalt or Makita very much, <laughs> right? I can't say can't say that. It's hardly very fair at all. Look at that out here. He's single-handedly going to make me a rich man on YouTube. Oh, look at this guy. Don't do it, Grimmy. Don't do it. This guy's just a, a jerk. So don't pay him no mind. Ed, thank you again. You know, you're a you're righteous, bro. You're righteous. Hey everybody. Uh, you know, I know you're all mostly people that are here anyway, but please don't forget to stop in Tuesday and catch the next council meeting. So we've got some new stuff coming up. I've got some plans for a couple of really uh uh my own a my own meme so i want to share that with you guys i'm i'm really hoping to to get that in there let me see if i can get my uh put my mug up here how you guys doing <laughs> oh, oh no look at the count looks like it's going backwards of people that showed up so listen everybody get on over to jd's channel and check him out i am going to get off here now that i have accomplished what i wanted and uh expose the new tools uh, unless anybody wants to talk about the ridiculous stuff that, that Harbor Freight is doing, we are in the third weekend of 2021, and Harbor Freight has no more outlandish sales. Uh, they don't want to talk about coupons. Haven't seen coupons coming out. You know, the occasional. 
uh, coupons. There's no more freebies, guys. And what I mean by freebie is you can't go you can't go in and buy anything and just get a freebie. They're very specific about what you have to buy to get this or that for free. That's new. They're, uh, instead of coupons, it looks like they're doing the instant savings. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll start doing a few TikToks on those. But I got to say, I'm not impressed with the instant savings, guys. So I I don't, don't not that Harbor Freight's going to run their business based on me. But I'll tell you what, if enough of us get out here in the comments and say, that's BS, then they'll get it, you know, because here was the thing. I was talking to Ed the other night and I said, what this reminds me of is the way the uh, cellular telephone companies work, okay? The cellular companies work like this in that they'll do whatever it takes to get the other people's customers to come over and talk to them. But when it comes to taking care of their loyal customers, they don't want to do anything. And I, I think this change by Harbor Freight is akin to that. Now, use the excuse of the current environment and social distancing and, and whatever. But I'm going to cry BS on that because, you know, it just it, it's just silly, you know. Yeah, we we get it. You know, it's it's been kind of a, a point of humor and people kind of teasing about it and these great sales at Harbor Freight and the cheap tools or whatever. You guys are growing up. You're trying to get bigger. I get it. I understand it. But in the same respect, the nonsense, the nonsensical stuff, it's kind of like what it's like what I liked. And I think that there's a lot of people that liked it, too as nonsensical as it was and i don't know maybe there was a screw up or whatever for sure there was a little bit of training mix-ups because uh they they had all kinds of silly stuff like um you know managers weren't sure how the um uh you know spend this much money get the this tool free and there was a series of tools you were only supposed to get one not every manager of the, their stores understood that. They were somebody going and buy a pick set and get five free twenty dollar grinders or whatever. <laughs> it was it turned out ridiculous. I guess they they probably really screwed the pooch on that sale because you you know you you do see it. I did see it one other time, but people sure understood how it worked a lot better after that. So let's see what else here. Let me let me put up this thing so I can. Blind guy can get up here and read some of your comments and throw them up here. Jay, who only knows puppet humor, humor tell me. Tell me. What's, oh, Shaggy Rifleman. Welcome, buddy. Well, you know, we ain't going anywhere, Shaggy. <laughs> Everything else is boring. Uh, <laughs> which reminds me, if anybody has not seen Ed's fast video, he did. Um, I, I don't think this is your first voiceover, is it, Ed? Go ahead and put your new uh, furnace video out there. So, you know, if, if you're bored, Grim, and you haven't seen anything, go check that out. It's. Uh, you know, I was just telling Ed, we were talking about this and uh, Ed was talking, hey, you know, telling everybody, yeah, you know, you can do this and and blah, blah, blah. But then he was getting into the motors and, you know, these two wires, you know, if your motors reverse, you know, counterclockwise, you have to swap these wires. If not, you have to do this. And, you know, it's got to have these. Wires, and then you got to match this transformer. And then you got to take this board off. and You got to make all these 200 connections. It's like, Ed. Man, I don't know about anybody else, but uh, I'm going to call an HVAC guy. Honestly, I would call an HVAC guy because Ed, oh, that looked just scary. I'm going to say scary. And Jay, who only knows puppet, you guys go ahead and just, you know, you guys need to step out in the alley or what? They're, these guys are close enough to, to settle it like men, so let's encourage that, guys. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, here we go. Here's the first one. Are you guys seeing this, Harbor Freight? Agreed. Instant savings is stupid. And Ed said the same thing. Ed, the old tech guy, says the same thing. I'm not liking what Harbor Freight has doing, uh, has been doing as of late with their sales stuff. And I totally agree. I I don't think they're going to get rid of like 20%. And they might have the 30% off sales and whatever, but I'm really worried about things that were really super fun, like parking lot sales and big, the big clearance sales, you know, and, and whatever, because they would sell stuff that you could go in and bargain with the manager. The longer it's there over that three day weekend, the more they take it down. And they had sales like that too. Remember you would, they, oh, you know, up to 70% off, you know, but yeah, they'd start it at like, um, you know, half a cent off and two cents off the next day and then 70% off on Sunday. <laughs> that kind of weird stuff. Let's see. Uh, here we go. Ed, the, that's what I was thinking, Jay, who Ed, the old HVAC guy. He didn't replace everything before he got it running. Oh, Wait, we don't know. <laughs> That's right. That's right, Grim. And he hasn't he hasn't told Jay who or I yet either. But I'm pretty sure he would have told us if his wife left him. His wife has not left him. Therefore, the heater's working. That's that's my that's how I decipher stuff at Harbor Freight anyway. So that if that logic passes over to Ed, the old tech guy, then I'm going to go out on a limb and say it probably worked. <laughs> uh, 1200 for the truck. He and seven, look at this guys, seven mechanics could not fix what was wrong with this truck. They rebuilt the engine and they couldn't fix it. So is this an old truck? Shaggy Rifleman, was it a voltage regulator? For some reason, these younger mechanics cannot find an issue when it's a voltage regulator on an old vehicle. So I'm not, not oh, now I'm going to get in trouble. You, you goaded me into that, didn't you? <laughs> See, uh, look at this. You have not yet, Ed, the old tech guy. Jay, who is guessing? Oh, Backwoods Man Pa is watching on a cell phone or something, a uh, computer that used battery. I hope I got to say goodbye before you actually left Backwoods Man Pa. Thank you very much for stopping in. I appreciate it. Like I said, I hadn't seen you on the... Uh, on the stream before. Oh my gosh, it was fuel filter. <laughs> what they, they rebuilt now this is the kind of stuff I love. They they went through all you know all this stuff, seven mechanics, all the way down to a rebuild. Who puts a used fuel filter on a rebuilt engine? They didn't rebuild the carb, or is this a fuel injected or whatever? But it's funny that they wouldn't change a fuel filter. It sounds high in the video. That's mean. Here we go. I... <laughs> Anybody know about underwater drills? You know, this this might be where where are you going into a new line where you know you might have drill around water, Grim? Don't know. Here is Ed's latest video he did post it out there. So uh, I'll I'll try to get some of these in the comments, but you guys know my uh my um uh memory is going. You can buy anything in downtown Chicago. And it's like they all know what the main route is to the elevated train because along there, from the time you leave work to the time you get on the elevated train, 
you could probably buy enough under undercoat overcoat furniture to furnish refurnish your whole house that's right that's right ed the deal hunting is half of the fun let's see i'm just going to try uh uh, going ahead here that that's that's what I, I had asked him so did he answer that yet yeah that that's right JD and they had, it just expired, the coupon where, you know, I hadn't seen it before. If you buy a five-drawer tool cart, even if you use a coupon on a five-drawer tool cart, you can get a free side tray. And there was, maybe this is part of the reason they're, they're trying to get rid of some of these coupon deals is because for two days at the last of December, there was an overlap with that coupon on December 30th and 31st. And they were open on the 31st. So on December 30th and 31st, you could use the getting ready to expire $189 coupon for the five drawer tool card. And you could get a free, uh, you get a free side trade with it. Now, um, as far as the other Bowers, I don't think you can combine the bag with the other tool deal where you, you get, if you buy this tool and this battery and this charger, you can you can get twenty five dollars off and i mean it would still be over fifty dollars but i don't know if you can get a free tool bag but that would be that would be one of those little things you could find that i was talking about and the old tech guy you're doing a, a full inspection of it tomorrow so well, yeah, but you already know, Shaggy, if it's got points or, you know, if it uses points or if it's carbureted, though, right? I can't do $500. <laughs> there you go, Graham. There you go. See, that's the way you do it. I, you know, I'm the oldest, must be the oldest one here because I've bought cars for $200. I had, I had an old Cutlass 442. It had the turbo hydro 400, uh, or it had the, uh, the 400, what, what was that called? 400 rocket engine. It had the turbo hydro 400 tranny in it. So, you know, that was part of the whole 442. I traded guys, I traded a stereo for it. I mean, it was a good stereo, but I traded a stereo for it. The guy thought he was ripping me off because when I came to pick it up, brought the stereo, came to pick it up, it uh, they were out there putting water in it. And they were like, oh, yeah, I was running. Oh, yeah, we're just getting it ready to go for you and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I took it home. By the time I got home, which was just a few blocks away, the thing was out of water. I'm like, oh, no. Uh, I went inside. I was talking to my brother. He says, yeah, they ripped you off on that. And, or I said, yeah, they, they ripped me off on it. You know, I, I wasn't paying attention. I just, you know, let my uh, eyes do the talking. And next thing you know, I have a car with a blown, you know, cracked block or something. Well, he felt bad for me, went out there and looked. And uh, he came in and got me when we went down to Checker Auto Parts. I don't know if you guys remember that store. We went down to Checker Auto Parts, bought a set of uh, freeze plugs, came home, put the freeze plugs in it, and that thing ran like a top. <laughs> So I went screaming by their house constantly, constantly to remind them that uh, you got to be careful. What goes around comes around. So he on on the Volvo, uh, Grammy swapped the plug wires around and was good to go. It, it it's funny because um, I thought that sometimes you can find that right on the engine, right? The firing order. I'm not sure. Grim is making fun of Ed's voice. Uh, what do you got to do? 
What do you got to do, Jehu? Uh, what do we got from the Shaggy Wireful in here? He's uh, congratulating Grim. Brian, thanks for stopping by. It was really cool to see you in the chat, man. <laughs> so basically you probably paid for the camper and the pioneer stereo system there shaggy rifleman and you got the truck for free so So uh, let me ask you this. So if it's got a, let's see, what did you say about the Pioneer audio system? Not the Pioneer is the best, but it sure sounds like it. Uh, so does it have the cassette? Remember the cassettes that you could uh, you you could put in there and and uh, they had a wire sticking out of them that you could uh, you could connect into to run your auxiliary. That's me, Ned. <laughs> go get him grim should we go over to tiktok and make fun of jehu because he was over here giving us a hard time hey well everybody that i finally got to the end here i hope i didn't leave anybody out we talked about everything i was hoping to talk about and uh you know i want to thank all of you guys for stopping by i appreciate you very much taking the time to come and see me i know i'm um I did get over other people's streams and I apologize for that, but I was just so excited about all the, especially these, uh, these new, uh, drawer trims they are pretty cool. But anyway, we're going to get off here and we're going to post this video so people can maybe watch some video time with their morning coffee or something. I appreciate y'all. Please stay safe, drive carefully and, you know, just watch out, watch out for all of y'all. So, and I appreciate you as always, and we will see you the next time. Take care, everybody. Good night.